All right, I'd like to call the Village of Cottage Grove uh, Planning Commission to order on Thursday, March 2nd at 6.30 p.m. Uh, we are holding this as a Zoom meeting, meaning that the Zoom link is at the top, top of the agenda. And there's also an audio call in number as well at the top agenda, agenda with a meeting ID. With that, uh, we do have a quorum and the agenda was properly posted and we'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. So please find the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Next, we have uh, public appearances. This is public's opportunity to speak. If there is someone from the public who does wish to speak, we just ask that you share your name, your address, your municipality, and hold your comments to no more than three minutes in case we have a number of people who would like to speak. With that, I'll pause, uh, either raise your hand or speak up on the Zoom, um, and we'll open it up. All right, I don't see anyone that's uh, raised their hand or spoken up. So we'll move right next to our discuss and consider our meeting minutes from our planning commission meeting held on February 8th. Any questions, comments, edits, or consideration for motion? I'll make a motion for approval of the bill of the planning commission minutes for February the 8th, 2023 as presented. All right, thank you, Alex. Is Stop there it. a second? Thank you, Troy. Any further discussion? Having heard none, all those in favor then. Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstain? Motion carries. Next then, uh, we have uh, discuss and consider an application from one community bank for the approval of a site plan amendment for previously approved approximately 6,000 square feet at 1565 Landmark Drive. So I see a number of representatives on here from one community bank. So I don't know who wants to lead off the dis discussion, but uh, I turn it over to whoever wants to volunteer. Thanks, John. Hi, this is Jeff Firstless with uh, one community bank and uh, we appreciate the flexibility to be back with you again uh, this evening. And Without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Mallory Hepner from OPN. So, Mallory, thanks for uh, thanks for uh, leading our discussion. You're welcome. Um, can you all see my PDF? Perfect. Okay, so I'm Mallory Hepner. I'm a project architect with OPN Architects, and then we also have Peter Miller uh, from our studio here as well. In case I forget to mention anything, he and Jeff might chime in for us. Um, so I've got a, a document that hopefully you've seen um, discussing kind of some of the changes that have been made along the way. And really the, the changes that have been made are um, what we think are beneficial to the project. No plan changes, no major site plan changes. It's kind of been tweaks and refinements along the way as we've developed materiality and thought through things a little bit further. So one of the areas that did change on the plan is um, Previously, and you can see the clouded area on the left portion of the screen. Previously, we had kind of a partial height uh, wall and um, kind of a wood slat look screen that was blocking uh, a lot of the views of the drive through area. And as we started working through the detailing and looking at the navigation of the, the drive through for vehicles, uh, we felt like it was getting a little dark, a little complicated, a little hard to see. So um, we streamlined it a bit and brought back some of the architecture from the entry to the backside. So you'll see that on some of the renderings here. Other changes that we made, uh, simplifying some of the roof drains um, and where the water goes to on the site. So kind of minor things that I think most people probably would not notice. Uh, this is one of the areas that's just been a refinement. So previously we'd, we had discussed potential for terracotta or some stone. So we've actually selected a stone masonry unit that's got 
similar colors to what was previously proposed, some similar proportions. But um, as we kind of selected that, we we struggled to find um, a metal soffit that was a wood look soffit that would that would complement this. So we've decided to match the um, aluminum composite panel, which is a dark bone white. So we're going to match that on the underside of the soffit is what this proposal shows here. So just a little bit of a refinement of the materiality as we progressed through this. So exterior elevation, really the change that you'll notice is the slat wall um, that was kind of partially obscuring the drive through lane. Other than that, uh, the building should look largely similar to what you saw previously. So this is really the the largest change over here on the south exterior elevation that you'll see. So um, we're keeping the similar structure, similar roof lines, columns as what's on the kind of entry elevation to the north. So a little bit more symmetry for the project. And here's what that view looks like at night. And as part of the refinements to this, we wanted to make sure that um, we're still offering some protection and um, some kind of dappled light, and so you're not staring directly through it. So we've added some more landscaping, kind of shifted and moved things around. And one of the topics of conversation that we had at our last meeting was that we would be investigating incorporating some sort of a screen wall around those condensing units. Uh, previously, they were tucked behind that partial height wall that had the wood slats on it. So that'll be part of our um, design as we move forward. some more renderings. Um, some other changes that we made, uh, landscaping changes, we eliminated a kind of unnecessary sidewalk, which uh, incorporated some retaining walls that um, wasn't needed per code and isn't needed by the user. So little tweaks like that that have been made, and those were all included in the submission from the civil and landscape teams as well. Jeff, did I miss anything? Peter? I think you're good, Mallory. Um, you know, one thing that we we like about the new drive up design is it's just uh, more open. We think it's more inviting. Um, and as Mallory said, that was really kind of our, our biggest pivot. All right. Uh, thank you, Mallory. And thank you, Jeff. Uh, next, we'll shift over to Aaron for staff comments. Yeah, thanks, John. So uh, the ARC looked at this yesterday morning and they did approve it. A um, couple of those members felt, and I, I would agree that I kind of like the screen wall they had before. It gave it another color and texture, but um, I get why they're making the change and bringing more light in, and it's still an attractive building. Um, so we would recommend approval. Uh, there were a couple of conditions uh, the first one being, just to clarify, if they do want to revert to any of the elements from the previously approved plan, it doesn't sound like they want to, but if they did, they wouldn't have to come back again to get that reapproved. They could just do that. Uh, the second one is no longer relevant. It was about submitting the stormwater maintenance agreement, but they sent that over last night. Um, the third one came from Strand, if I can speak on Kyla's behalf, they just noticed that the uh, ADA accessible curb ramp that's on the south side of the entry isn't really necessary because it led out to the sidewalk that is now no longer part of the plan. Uh, so if the applicant wants to get rid of that also, they could. And then as Mallory mentioned, the ARC added a condition about uh, providing a more permanent screening to the you know, mechanical units and not just the landscaping, but something that matches the building. All right. Thanks, Aaron. Um, any questions, comments from commission members? I'll just do a, a quick shout out again, thanking uh, One Community Bank for choosing Cottage Grove. And we certainly are looking forward to this new building and this new service available to our residents. So we appreciate that. So, but I'll turn over to commission members to see if there's any questions or comments regarding uh, the, am the amendment. I have some questions, John. Go ahead, Alex. <laughs> sure. Um, just 
I don't know all the words, so I guess Aaron, maybe you can help me out. I mean, so what's the, what's the official address of the property then? Is it is it N or is it Landmark? It'll be Landmark. Landmark. Okay, so from a, that frames the question a little bit. So from a commercial, what I'm looking at is the deletion of that walk, sidewalk. So from a commercial perspective, the, the formal entrance is through Landmark, yet there's no pedestrian access from Landmark and with this far setback. Um, can you can you talk about the deletion of that sidewalk and potential impact on you sort of reference it in the notes, but is there anything else that we're sort of missing with that from a you know a commercial opportunity? Here's this building and its address is here, but yet we can't walk to it. That is the end that does lead to uh, you know this community or and really is the road, the main road. Um, how does that all fit in and you know, obviously probably was deleted for cost if the, if the team wants to talk about that, but it seems like it really should be there. We did approve to have that there. I think that's a significant piece to the, the approach of the building. So I'll let you guys talk about it. I can comment a little bit. Um, we, we felt like anytime we've been at the site, the, the pedestrians that we've seen have been on that public path. So we are proposing to keep that connection. Um, and we, didn't really feel like it. Um, we've seen any people actually walking along Landmark, um, but that was just kind of what we and our civil and landscape team have observed. Um, so yeah, it was a, a combination, I think, of, kind of streamlining it, reducing costs, and not paying for things that we didn't think would be used a lot. And then trying to kind of connect back to that public path. This is Kyla from Strand. One thing to note, Alex, is there is no sidewalk that leads from neither Jimmy John's nor Culver's um, that leads back to Landmark as well. Um, and they do have the sidewalk, as Mallory mentioned, that connects one community bank back to the um, bike path on end. Yeah, I was thinking about those two, and I don't know if their addresses are Landmark or in, you know, again, where the, where's their frontage compared to, yep. you know, and they're set back just as far, right, you know, Culver's for sure, and and the other sandwich shop, all that stuff is pretty far back. So, okay. It is, I do think it is their, a their addresses are also landmark. Off the bike pad pad path is a shorter distance to the actual bank. So, uh, humans being humans, I suspect they would use the the path and then head right up into there. That, that seems a lot more logical to me. Um, but I, I didn't realize that that's right. There's no, there's no sidewalk over on that area. So that doesn't help either. So it doesn't make a lot of sense at all. There's no sidewalk where? On Landmark? Uh, it's on the other side, I think. No, it's on, well, on Google Maps shows it on, on their side of the road. Both, both sides? Okay. No, well, no, on, it shows it on the west side. I, don't, I mean, this, I don't know how updated this is unless we moved it. But it's, like, it's just on the west side and then Dolphin Swim has, they don't have sidewalk in front of them, I don't believe. Correct. So there is a path. So if you're, if, you're leading, if you're in that community heading north into Landmark, there's a path on the west side of Landmark that would pass this property. It does connect to, um, uh, it's like, you know, Culver's and it's Jimmy John's that's right there. But you're right, neither Culver's or Jimmy John's has <clears throat> um, pedestrian walk into it. And actually, neither of those seem to have any connection to the pedestrian you know, little walkway all the way around. It, so, okay, just a question. Thanks. Appreciate it. Other questions, comments from commission members? If there are no questions or comments, this is discuss and consider. I will make a motion to approve the application from one community bank for approval of a site plan amendment for previously approved uh, approximately 6,000 square foot bank at 1565 Landmark Drive with staff conditions. All right, thank you, Heidi. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Kim. Any further discussion? 
Yes, just and, to get technical, one of those okay. conditions was an ARC condition and not from me necessarily, but I assume we're okay. adding that one as well. Yep, staff and other committee conditions. Yep. All right, thanks. Uh, Aaron, while we're talking, just on, on your memo that's posted on the website, to be clear, page five is not part of this, right? For some reason, that's no emergency access from Alvin Road. That's a carryover from the prior meeting. Yeah, I'm yeah. not sure. That didn't. <laughs> so just be. <laughs> or, didn't print down when I printed it out. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll fix that. You promised not to. <laughs> okay. I don't know if that, that doesn't change the, the motion or the second. I'm not asking for that. Just clarify it. Thanks. All right. Uh, thanks, Alex. And, and um, any other discussion? Having heard none, then all those in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Any abstain? Motion carries. All right. Thanks again, uh, all the folks from One Community Bank. Uh, future you. agenda item. Yes, thank you, Mallory. Uh, future agenda items, Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. everybody. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, so coming up next week already, um, we have one gentleman coming in with the concept plan for property he owns on North Main Street. Um, the rugby club is coming in with a site plan amendment to add some lights to their field. We have a potential zoning ordinance amendment related to setbacks to look at and I will distribute the housing document. I don't know that we'll go over it in any great detail, but just put it out there for you to read and then we can talk about it at future meetings. All right, Aaron, sounds like a, an eventful evening planned. Um, with that then, uh, anybody wanna handle item eight? And make a motion to adjourn. Heads are turned, don't we? <laughs> All right, I think I heard, I know I got a one from Kim. I got to help sort this out for Lisa. I have no idea who had a second in there. Who wants I'll to claim second it. for Kim. Okay, all right, there you go, Troy. There was several in there, I couldn't hear. Um, motion and second then, non-debatable. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We are adjourned. Everybody have a good rest of your week and we'll see you next week. Take care.